I will crush you! In 2022, Death Knight was introduced to Hearthstone and it brought with it mechanics unlike any of the classes already in the game. Death Knight had its own unique deck building and resource systems, but I've been trying to update Hearthstone's older classes by making them more similar to Death Knight. I've introduced concepts like new deck building systems for Shaman and Priest and a new resource for Hunter. In today's video, I'll share all the changes I've thought up for Warrior. I call this update Stance of War. This video will include a completely new mechanic for Warrior that lets you build your own hero power, as well as two new keywords. Let's start with the hero power mechanic, which I've just been calling Build a Hero Power. Similar to Death Knight's three rules, Warrior will have three rules of their own called Stances. There's Arms, Fury and Protection. But unlike Death Knight's runes, these stances will not influence your deck building, but will instead change your hero power based on your chosen stance. You may choose any combination of stances, but while Death Knight could have three runes, Warrior may only choose up to two stances. So how do you use this new mechanic? Well, when you're building your deck, you will have a small interface above your deck where Death Knight's runes are usually found. This interface will show you your stances and the hero power they make. As a baseline, you will have two protection stances and your hero power will be Defensive Stance Rank 2, which is just the normal warrior hero power, but with a makeover. But by clicking one of your stances, you'll be presented with a menu that lets you pick another stance and doing so will change your hero power. <sighs> I must choose! All the different hero powers are also called stances, which might seem a bit confusing at first, but it's intentional, because there will be cards that reference your stance or let you change your stance, and this will be a way to keep track of what stance you're in. Here's all the combinations of hero powers and stances. Like I said, two protection stances gives you the old warrior hero power that gives two armor for two mana, which is now called defensive stance rank 2. But if you only have one protection stance and no other stances, your hero power will be Defensive Stance Rank 1, which just gives one armor but only costs one mana. One arm stance will give you the hero power Battle Stance Rank 1, which lets you equip a 1 1 weapon for one mana. Two arm stances will give you the hero power Battle Stance Rank 2, which lets you equip a 2 1 weapon for two mana. One Fury Stance makes your hero power Berserker Stance Rank 1, which will deal 1 damage to a damaged character for 1 mana. And two Fury Stances gives you Berserker Stance Rank 2, which will deal 2 damage to a damaged character for 2 mana. You can obviously also mix your stances, but I'm actually not sure what that would look like. You see, I came up with two different designs for mixed stances, and I'll let you guys decide which you like better. The first is what you would expect. This one will just combine the effects of the two single stance hero powers. So Arms and Fury would give you the hero power Slayer Stance, which will equip a 1-1 weapon and deal 1 damage to a damaged character for 2 mana. Arms and Protection would give you Colossus Stance, which will give you 1 armor and equip a 1-1 weapon for 2 mana, so basically the Druid hero power. And finally Fury and Protection would give you Mountain Thane Stance, which will give you 1 armor and deal 1 damage to a damaged character for 2 mana. Now the other designs are perhaps a bit more interesting. These ones would try and melt their two hero powers into a single effect. Like this, the hero power for Arms and Fury would instead equip a 1-1 weapon that deals two extra damage to damaged characters. Arms and Protection would instead equip a 1-1 weapon and after your hero attacks and kills a minion with it, you will gain two armor. And finally, Fury and Protection would instead deal one damage to a damaged character and if that kills it, you will gain two armor. And all of these hero powers also of course cost 2 mana. Again, let me know in the comments which version you like better, cause I can't decide. Like I said earlier, some cards will let you change your stance as you can see here. Using any of these cards will not only change your hero power and any card that looks at your stance, but also refresh your hero power. Now I also mentioned something about new keywords. This update would introduce two new keywords, one for all classes and another exclusively for warrior. The one for all classes is really just a formality. This one is called Cleave, and just like the recent addition of the elusive keyword, Cleave is just a new name for an effect that already exists in the game. Whenever a card also deals damage to adjacent minions, is what's now called Cleave. Many older cards would get updated to feature this keyword, not just Warrior cards, but Cleave would probably be a bit more prominent in Warrior, especially because Cleave is tied to this next keyword. 
You see, the other keyword for warrior is not just a single keyword. Warforged, as it's called, can be many different keywords depending on what stance combination your deck has. Warforged would only be found on minions, and you can see here what different combinations you can make. Take a card like Ogremar Grunt. As a baseline, Ogremar Grunt is a 2 mana 1 3 minion with Warforged. But if your deck has one arm stance, it would gain plus one attack, and if you have no other stances, it would also cost one less. If you have a Fury stance, it would gain Rush, and a Protection stance would give it plus one health. If your deck has mixed stances, it will just have a combination of these bonuses. But if your deck has two of the same stance, this card will receive more powerful bonuses. With two arm stances, a minion with this keyword will gain Cleave in addition to its plus one attack and with two Fury Stances it will gain Charge instead of Rush. Finally, with two Protection Stances it would have plus one Health and Taunt. The Warforged keyword would only be visible during deck building. In game it would just have the keyword of its stance, and if you switch your stance the card would get updated with the new keywords and bonuses, even on the battlefield. Here are a few examples of minions are made with Warforged. I did notice while designing these cards that Warforged kinda does restrict the design somewhat since you can't really print Warforged on cards that also have Rush or Taunt and so on. But perhaps Warforged could just completely replace those keywords in Warrior. Let me know what you think. We're almost at the end of the video. I just have one more card to show you. Grom Warsong Chieftain. Yeah! Taste the fury of the Warsong! Grom is an 8 mana 4 9 legendary minion just like his original version. But this new version of Grom has the Warforged keyword, so he can have charge like he used to, but he can also gain taunt or cleave. In addition to that, he will also gain plus 5 attack anytime he takes or deals damage. Before I round this video off, I want to point your attention to the Bionic Door channel. He also has a series of Hearthstone class overhauls called Hearthstone Classes Revisited. His Warrior episode included a brand new resource for Warrior, so if you're interested in seeing a different approach, check out that video. I'll leave a link in the description. Well that's it for my overhaul of Warrior. Which class should I overhaul next? I have ideas for both Warlock and Druid, so leave a comment saying which of those two classes you want to see first. And maybe also leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on this series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.